Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Frozen Fortunes. But before we get into that, a quick reminder that the FM Charity Cup match in Leamington is less than a month away now. Um, so if you haven't got your tickets yet, um, then you might want to do so if you are going to, because uh, again, there might not be pre-sale tickets. Uh, sorry, pre-sale tickets are fine, but there might not be tickets on the door, depending on the way the pre-sales go, essentially. So yeah, get on that. I'm going to put a link to it in the description, um, not just to the way to buy tickets, but also to the website itself, so you can check it out. Have a look at the charity that we'll be supporting and all that. It'd be great if some of you guys came down on the day. Um, yeah, it'd be good to meet some of you right so our first game of this period i mean looking at the stats we probably didn't deserve anything i mean it was tight we created some opportunities as always but i really thought that getting a point away at nishabing would be a big thing for us we did actually lead at one point alan franson's quick fire double gave us the lead but jimmy horn who looks amazing regen quality player um gave them an equalizer but that late equal late goal from yeppy arneson late goals have been the death of us lately it really has cost us a lot of points over this save so far and we just need to find a way to shut up shop i guess but i'm always trying to go for those wins franson however did carry on his amazing goal scoring form into the next game against skiva this is one of those games where we very nearly got absolutely effed like seriously andreas cock i have to put the emphasis on now i do it every time um equalize i mean we took the lead through alan franson everything was great starting off but they just came back at us with Cox's goal. And then Gabriel Christensen, I thought anyway, had given them the win with three minutes left in the game. But oh, no, 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 no. We had something else up our, up our sleeve. Alan Franson with the 89th minute equaliser. But then Mehdi Ben Yahia, he's only scored important goals. He scored the equaliser for us against Vencisel in that 3 all draw. And now he's gone and scored the winner in the home game against Skiva in the 95th minute. A deserved win, but... My God, we had to fight for that huge result after the loss against Nishabing. It's also worth noting that I actually pushed Luke Campbell up into the midfield for the final few minutes of the game against Skiva. Um, so we eventually had like two at the back, then wingbacks, three in midfield. We really overloaded that area and it really worked because we dominated their final few moments. And speaking of being dominated, um, the game against Marion Lees. Now this one, I decided to try out starting with our secondary away tactic, the shovel with the more flexible and dynamic long shot, uh, not long shots, long passing approach. And we got screwed. Um, Marion Lees really do have some kind of hoodoo over us. They've beaten us a lot in recent years, despite being relatively of a similar level to us. Um, Fabian Tovenan's goal, which was from set piece, obviously was the only real bright spark in the game. The penalty didn't help. They did get a couple of long shots, which I guess is, for, as you can see, 14 of them. But two of them went in. So perhaps it wasn't as bad, but they still created more than enough chances to win the game. We really are going to need to figure something out as a way of beating Marion Lees, because at the moment it ain't looking good. Final game of this period, and probably one of the best performances I've seen out of us since I think we beat someone 6-0 or 6-1 a few years ago. But this reminds me a lot of the Esbio game earlier in the season, except again, in the Esbio game, we didn't actually create that many chances. Uh, we just took them. Against Vencisle, we created so many opportunities, it is unreal. This could have been more than three. We seem to have something over them as well. Since that 3-0 comeback, we've scored six goals against them without reply, which is unbelievable. Franz St. Nigo and Ben Yahia Finally scoring a goal that's pretty much meaningless in this game, but it's good to see him getting some goals. We could have had six or seven in this one. It was brilliant. So where does that leave us? It leaves us here in seventh place. Uh, we've fallen a little bit uh, since, I mean, Nishabing have really picked up the results. Vibor, as you can see, are right on the cusp of the promotion places now. Considering they lost four of their first five games, you've got to feel that they would be right in there had they not done that. Their injuries have come down a little bit. Ventis will have a lot of injuries too, which could have contributed to our... Uh, relatively comfortable victory over them importantly though we are still nine points above the drop zone which is a b now as uh marion least and Freymad. it's sort of those bottom four are the ones really fighting it out we're trying to keep clawing onto the coattails of the teams like Vencisil, interestingly i think the best place we could finish this year and i don't think we will is fifth i think that's the best we could possibly hope for everyone else seems totally out of sight Honestly, I said I think we'd finish eighth this year, and I genuinely believe that's where we will finish, but it's all about building slowly. Branson, top scorer in the league, again, 18 goals in 17 appearances. I think he's made 17 appearances. Incredible stuff. Nigold now with nine assists as well, really picking it up there. Branson is now the top scorer of all time in the club. He wasn't in the last video, uh, but he's overtaken Nigold. It told me in the match chat, so that's good. Uh, I think that was about time that happened. Still haven't got him on a new contract, though. Right, so I do have some other stuff to show you, but I'll show you that in between the two games so we can get our first game underway, the home game against Arbe. Now, Julian is injured. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. Seven days to two weeks. So I think he'll miss both of today's games, which is a bit of a bummer, uh, as they say. So with that in mind, I guess we'll have to go with Thorst um, Thorstenson. He's really not performing that well, considering, although he has had a positive reaction to our latest chat. So I guess that's good. But other than that, everything else about the team needs to stay as it is. Nigor, Franson, Benyahia, Betsa, Gunnarsson, Cissé, Campbell, Tovenal, and Coffee in goal. He's doing okay. I think goalkeepers, it's going to be tough for us. We concede a lot of goals, and I don't think it's our keeper's fault. On the bench, Johnson, Borup, Diamosa, Big Luck, Ravgord, 
Ingolfson and Brendan O'Neill. Someone said they wanted to see Brendan O'Neill. So here's uh, Brendan's stats. He does appear to be improving slightly, uh, amazingly. He's, he's not super slow. He just lacks a lot of the stamina, which means I think he's more of an explosive super sub. That's kind of the best we can get from him. Only 10 finishing. Ah, he's a poacher. I don't know. Like, what is this game here? How did he get a zero rating? Oh, right. He must have got substitute before he could get a rating. <laughs> but yeah, he scored some goals for us. He's got one goal and one assist in the league uh, from five substitute appearances. He's got lots of goals in the reserves. Like, lots of goals. There's a reserve game I want to show you, but we'll do that later. So am I confident about these two games? No. Um, I know we beat Arbe 5-3 away from home, but I just have a horrible feeling. Like, we've kind of been very hit and miss. Like, we've had some poor results, like away at Marion Lees, but we've also been capable of beating good sides at home, a la Vencissel and Esbia. So it could happen. We need to really win this one, because I, I don't fancy us in the away game against... Who is it? It's a better side as well, isn't it? Isn't it against Freymad or someone like that, or Helsingor? I don't know. We I think this one is important to win. We're above the drop zone anyway right now, but this would really put us clear because they're the team directly below, uh, not directly below us, directly in the drop zone. So question of the day, and today's question of the day is this. What is the longest running save you've ever done on FM? I actually can't remember exactly how long it was, but I know for a fact it was the Outcast to Icon save. I think we got at least 15 odd years into that save. Ben Yahia out for Torsonson. Go on, oh, was a man out wide. Nigor. There we go. Betzer. Somebody get a good cross in. Ball back post. Ben Yahia! And we lead after five minutes. And Mehdi Ben Yahia has finally started to score some goals for us. And that would be massive. That would put us into sixth place. And put us 11 points clear of the relegation zone. And start to make us look fairly comfortable. Even a great cross from Betzer. Lovely finish from Ben Yahia. 1-0. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves though. So yeah, Outcast to Icons was definitely my longest save ever on FM. But yeah, let me know yours in the uh, comments and how far it went and what team it was with. I'd be very interested to hear about that. And if you have any ideas for a question of the day, drop those in the comments too with the hashtag QOTD. Right. Tajan sees ball. Back post. Nigar Oh, go on. Thorstensen and it's wide. He really does love a long shot, that lad. Um, no amount of me telling him to shoot less has made any difference with that one. I'm fairly certain he's on shoot less. Um, let's just see. Shoot less often. Has he got like some trait? He's, not, he's got all right long shots. I guess he might score one eventually. But he's not like he's got a shoots from range trait or something like that. We're winning 1-0. That's the key thing. This is a good start. Um, but it could all go wrong if we fuck this up here. That didn't look like a penalty to me. It looked like Tajan C won the ball. Ah. Nielsen steps up against Coffee. Come on, James. Ah, oh, not quite. 1-1. One, one. That's frustrating. Um, how did our goal not count as even a clear cut or even a half chance? Ben Yahir is right in front of the goal when he takes that chance. Nielsen, that's a great penalty, though. Ah. Uh, the draw wouldn't be the worst result because it keeps us the same distance from them, but I don't know. We are winning a lot of headers. Um, but obviously the thing is, it doesn't tell you who's winning the headers. It's just the whole team's headers count. So I don't know whether that's strikers or defenders. It could mean that they're just crossing the ball in a lot and we're heading them away quite easily. Though we are completing quite a few crosses, something to maybe exploit later on. We need to get back in front now. I thought if we got the lead, we'd have a shot at trying to pull away from them. They're closing down quite a lot. Uh, Nigor, Thorstensen, please don't shoot. Betzer again. Go on, Ollie. Ah, uh, oh. Well, I mean, that is unbelievable. Oliver Betzer has got to... Admittedly, that was a shitty cross. I'm just going to say that now. But he's now got two assists for two Ben Yahir goals. That makes up for the dreadful goalkeeping from Coffey in the last game, because I think this is even worse. Betsa loves a first-time ball in. Goalkeeper just doesn't bother with it, and Mehdi Ben Yahir now has two for the night. And I think that's six for the season now. He's finally finding some form. So we're still on whipped crosses, which is good. Someone said the floated crosses might have been the reason that we were getting a lot of those going straight to the goalkeeper. Um, so there we go. So far, Mehdi Ben Yahir, man of the match for me. But we've not created much other than those chances so far. And I'm okay with that. But I would like to see us do a little bit more so far. Noah. Getson. Jakobsen. Back post. That should be... This is unbelievable. Um, the goals that we've conceded today. The penalty there. And then this one. I don't believe he's actually been able to score from there. It's a good ball to the back post from Jakobsen. But when he gets here, he's practically on the byline. I think there's no way he's going to score. And somehow he does... At the second attempt as well. Oh my god. Tejan C. Ball in. Franson's header. And oh my goodness. Cleared off the line a couple of times. And Nigo. Thorstensen. He'll probably try and shoot. Doesn't matter though. Not happening for us. Um, It's certainly been a fun and interesting 37 minutes of this game so far. Mistakes galore. Don't you dare. Carrera. C. Say. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Probably going to get sent off now or something. Okay, so half-time. We're winning more headers than them. We're winning more tackles. We're completing a lot of crosses. 
Um, second half is going to have to be all about that. We're going to have to just bomb those wings and get those crosses in. Right, so what can we change to get more crosses in? Um, cross more often, perhaps? I think that's the best I can really do for now, just to get more crosses in the box. Although, maybe overall, if we try to exploit the flanks, I don't like doing it, but it might not be such a bad idea. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to go passing into space or going too long ball. I think at the moment, genuinely, just playing those balls into that wide areas, getting those um, fullbacks to get those crosses in a little bit more. We've completed a lot of crosses so far. 36% is an awful lot. Sometimes in these areas, we might well be better off looking for the longer passes. Gunnison could look in behind here. He does. Ben Yar here. Can he pick a cross out? Ball in. Nigar's header, and it's saved by Jorgensen. Better. Winning another header there. I am wondering whether we should go a little bit more direct in this game. Oh, thank God it was a free kick. I thought we were going to concede another penalty. Yeah, okay, my assistant reckons a few more long balls. We're going to go a bit more direct passing. Um, I just want to see more crosses. Just keep peppering them with those crosses and see what happens. Hmm. Nigard's probably the weakest performer so far, so I'm going to get Brendan O'Neill. Let's go for Brendan, see what he can come up with. Tajan C hasn't played well today. We're going to get Diamosa on instead and leave one more spot up for grabs uh, later in this game. Hmm. Do we go attacking? I just don't think we're quite creating enough at the moment. I think we should push. These home wins are very, very important. If we can get a home win against our bay, it would really set fire to the survival hopes. I think that, you know, 11 points above them would be very much, not game over, but it would be very, very good for us. Noah's ball, back post, cleared away. Right, here we go. Benny are here, wins it. He's got to look long. He does look long for Brendan O'Neill. Right, go on, Brendan, what you got, baby? He's probably just going to shoot, isn't he? Oh no, Thorstenson. Yep, yes he is. Ben Yahi's in. Oh, over the bar from Ben Yahi. It's been a pretty tight, cagey game for the most part. Back post, Franson, O'Neill! Oh, what an opportunity that was. Another chance goes begging. This time, Brendan O'Neill with the opportunity. If he scores the winner here, then there's something wrong with this game. Thorstenson, this is, he's got to shoot here. Oh, he actually did get a shot away that time, but it's a free kick. 12 minutes to go. I'm thinking of moving Thorstenson up. Um, oh, we can't, can we, because there's a ball in midfield. I'm going to make him a centre midfielder and push him onto attacking. We've got one more sub. Where do we need that little bit of extra fit? I'll tell you what, we're going to get Gunnison off and Gravgord on just to try and get a bit more fitness levels in those sideways. Oh, do I turn these guys onto attack? What's the difference? I can never remember the difference. Still crosses when the opportunity arises. We're going to go for it. We're going to put these guys on attack as well. I know that's a lot of attacking teammates, but I just feel like there's something for us in this game. And if we can get it, it would be massive for us. Um... God, I'm annoyed because of the two goals that they've scored. It's like we could have avoided both of them. Uh, here we go. Diamosa's ball in. Campbell's header, and it's tipped over the bar by Jorgensen. Good lord. We're close to the winner. We're so close. But we're going to end up falling short. I can feel it. Campbell. Go on, Luke. Or that. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we might have to settle for a two-all draw, which is really disappointing. Um, given some of the results we've had at home lately, against some of the better sides, it just feels like this one's quite a it's just a very disappointing performance, particularly as we've now got to go away. I mean, it keeps the gap the same, uh, which I guess is better than nothing. It's just this was a real opportunity for us to get a home win, and we've drawn to all. I guess it's a fair result, but some of the chances that we had in that game, I mean, the penalty and their goal, but one of our goals was a mistake as well. Bit annoying, to be honest. Right, so we're back on the day of the game away at Freyman. Now, they just beat Marianne Least 2-1 uh, away in their last match. So... Not ideal. I mean, then again, I suppose it's better than... The draws are always the best results for all of us. We've beaten them once, but we've lost to them twice. So, I don't know. This one could be difficult. Plus, with us being away, I'd really hope that we were going to get ourselves a win against our bay. We really probably should have. And on another day, we maybe could have. But um, we are 7-1 to one outsiders to win this game. It's also important to know, uh, we've signed a load of Argentinian lads. Or rather, we will do in a couple of years. I've offered them contracts because I found a load of Argentinian lads in their youth intakes that either hadn't signed for the clubs properly or were just at clubs with, you know, no proper contracts. And um, we've not got work permits for any of them. So it's going to be a similar situation to the African guys, whether, you know, if they're any good, then we can finally put them on proper contracts. And if they're not, then we can just ship them out or keep them there and see what happens over a bit of development for them. But it's nice to just doing that and getting the wheels on the youth conveyor belt finally starting to turn a bit more for us because uh, we really do need to get that shit going. So one of the things about doing this double live comms is I turn my face cam off in between uh, so that I can get between the games without wasting loads of footage there. But I constantly forget to turn the bloody thing back on again. And this is the second episode in a row that I've had to record this pre-match bit twice. The other thing to mention is that Einstein, you remember we looked at him in the last episode, 
after we did that, and I didn't do anything to provoke this as far as I know, his agent offered him out to us on basically a free contract, not even like having to pay him any money, um, which is very strange. So you never know. But the next episode, Einstein might well be back at the club. I don't know how well he'll fit in. Uh, in the, I think we've probably got better players than him now, but that's his problem for leaving. He could have been a starter for us and he chose to leave. Right then. Um, so what are we going to do for today's game? Strikers, the same. I'm really happy with the way Benyatia, uh, Benyatia has been performing lately. He's finally scoring a few goals. He's actually got more than Nigard now uh, for the overall season. Tejancy, I'm happy to keep him in the middle. Is it the kind of game for Thorstensen? It kind of is because Julian is still pa carrying a knock. And Oh, you might notice there's a lad called James Wilson. He's an Australian. We've got him on trial. He will join us, but he's not that good, really. Um, he's the only one of the FFA players that would actually join us on a contract. Um, but we've got him on trial until he actually does join us, which is kind of cool. We've got to get Dave Benson Phillips back into the defensive midfield role. Few play oh, He's lacking match finish, but I guess it's because we don't play him every single game. Um, but that's the best we can really do there. Right, let's do this. I'm not actually that confident about this one i feel like <sighs> our record against them isn't great i hope we can if we can just avoid defeat i know two draws in these games wouldn't exactly be ideal uh, considering i'd earmark them as being potentially winnable uh, but they are playing a 4-4-2 and we're generally better against teams that play these sort of more sensible systems uh, not sensible but like more traditional systems so we'll go with assertive and see what we uh I can never know which one to pick of those anymore. They don't seem to be responding so well to those anymore. If we were to win here, it, it would be a good one for us because it would give us that chance to just move a little bit further clear uh, with the weekend's games yet to happen still. That's a good ball. Gunnison's getting into space. Can he find a good cross? He does. Nigard. Oh, my life. I mean, you could not get any closer than that if you tried, could you? Thorstenson. I really do have faith in the guy, but I want to see more from him. Gunnison is finding all kinds of space. Ball in. How are we missing those? That, that had to be a goal. Was that Thorstensen's strike there? I, he, I cannot believe he's not scored that there. We've created a lot in the opening stages here. Um, I thought that was a penalty for a second. They're saying we should play more direct. I'm quite happy with how we're doing at the moment. Opening stages to this game, I'm very happy. We've created a couple of good opportunities. We probably could... We should be at least one goal up at this point. Great defending from Gunnison. We actually made a tackle there. Tuvenol. And Gunnison's probably going to get it back here. Oh, that's not a good ball. Nielsen. Nicholson. Nielsen. Into the channel for Dross, but that's probably going to go out. No. What the hell? Like, come on. This is absurd now. It feels like this is happening in almost every fucking game. Um, first round of the season incoming. Drost's ball in from right on the byline. It goes over everybody. And then... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Why can't we score? We can't even score the, the obvious easy little goals. And yet those ones are going in. That's really frustrating to see. Um, right. We're going to have to go for a slightly more direct approach now. I'm going to attacking. Um, because... We, I can't believe we're losing this game. Betzer. Invitation C. We just need to keep our composure. Uh, unlike me at the moment. Gunnison. Drost. There we go. Tejan C winning back again. Just got to keep the pressure on them. Ben is into space. Gunnison brings it down. That's better. We're working the ball quite nicely here. We need those spaces out wide. I don't think that was intended for Nigard. I think that was really more likely to be for Betzer. And great. Now they're going to break on us. And wow, he's just completely spun in there. Go on. That's fine coffee with a long ball up to Franson. Can he win a header? He sort of does. Benson into the channel for Nigard. Nigard's in here. He's got a score and he's missed. And another good opportunity. That's three good, really good opportunities in this game. That was a tough one for him. But still, I cannot believe we're losing this match with the amount of good opportunities we've fashioned. Show me something else. Right, good. Assistant's happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's see what we can come up with. I might be tempted to push Benson up into the midfield to play him in the middle and put him as a ball winning midfielder there on defend just so that he's slightly higher up. Just go to a more traditional 4-3-3 type approach. Exploit both flanks. And yeah, I don't want to hit early crosses or anything like that just yet. Well, 15 minutes of that, and there's not been a single highlight for either team, or as far as I can tell, a shot. Um, the only thing I can think of is to push Torstensen up a bit more, make him a bit more attacking. Can we get one get further forward? He's already on that, of course, because of the attacking role. Oh, God. It's so frustrating because it's like we are playing okay. Right, substitutions. Who's not playing well? To be fair, Ben Yahia hasn't been good. Neither has Nigor. Um, we'll get Bigler and O'Neill in. Risky, I know. Uh, we'll Lee, unless it's Borup. Can we get Borup in? Yeah, we'll go with Borup. We're making three subs now. We're going to have to do something. Um, I'm disappointed. On another day, we're 3-1 up in this game. Or at least, like, 2-1 up. We've, we've had some good opportunities, and they've just been squandered to death. How did we not get the ball there? There are two of them, and neither of them bothers to try and make a fucking tackle. They just let the opposition get the ball. Bigler. Blocked. Anderson. 
Right, we're going to have to go out. Oh, or do we? No, we'll see this highlight out now and see what happens after the end of this highlight. Right, go on, win it. Franson, do something, lad. But O'Neill, he's got options out wide. Use them. Torsten, he's going to shoot from range. Franson, that's offside. It's got to be offside. He must be offside. Franson scores, but it's been disallowed. There you go. We're going to go overload. We're going to go route one. We're going to go hit early crosses. Turn these off because what's the point at this point? Take more risks. Um, let's just let's just do it. 18 minutes of this. Let's see if we can force an equalizer in this game at least. It'll be so good. They've just not let us have any chances, to be honest. Since we've had those early opportunities, they've let us have nothing in this game. And that's great defending from them, to be fair. Um, but we've had enough opportunities to score a goal in this game at least. Uh, I'd be so annoyed if we... These are literally identical opportunities to the ones we had earlier in this game, and we can't fucking put them away. It's so frustrating to watch, but hey, right, coming down now. They've taken their chances. We haven't. It's just really annoying. Um, we've not had a lot of sharp chances overall, but my god. Right, anyway, the point is we've not created enough overall shots in this game. We've created a few good chances with the shots we have had, um, but overall, we've not been that good. He's going to shoot. Oh my god, he's actually scored. Right, so he can score from there, but he can't score from like two inches out of the goal. Okay, don't matter. We've got nine minutes to go. Let's bring this game back. Borup's ball over the top. I actually was about to get annoyed at him for not passing this to the back post because he could have just slid this across, but he's gone for goal. Dreadful goalkeeping. Franson scored another one. Right, nine minutes. Let's have this. Can we close down much more? Is that an option we even have anymore? Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's get right in on them. Coffee looks long again. Franson knocks it down for Tajan C. Thorstenson. Ball to the back post. What the fuck? Excuse my language there. Did Alan Franson just cross the ball when he had an open goal? What the fuck was that? I can't believe that's just happened. Um, we might have to take another look at that in a second, lads. That is unbelievable. I've never seen a player do that before. That definitely wasn't a shot, was it? That was absolutely a cross. How are we losing this game? I mean, they've had a lot of shots compared to us, but the same number of shots on target. And what I would say is we've created so many good opportunities with so few shots. And I really do like that about us um, when it works. When we have games where we don't get a lot of chances, but we're able to take them, um, it's great. And there we go. We've lost 2-1. I just cannot believe that's happened. Right, we're going to have a look at this in a minute. Right, Alan Franson. It's this one. 84th minute watch highlight. Is there a pause option? There isn't, is there? So he's won it here. He goes round the goalkeeper and then just... Uh, Franson with the cross. It says Franson with the cross. Wow. I, I cannot believe that's just happened. Franson... I, I can't believe we missed some of the chances earlier in that game as well. Bearing in mind. Um, but... The fact that Franson then scored an unbelievably good goal and then missed probably the worst miss I've ever seen. Um, not in the fact that his shot went wide because he didn't shoot. He had an open goal and he tried to cross it and then did that with it. Right, time to calm down. Uh, we really should have, we botched that massively. We should have won the home game and we probably could have won against Freymad as well. Um, you know, we should have had two goals, definitely. Um, but we probably could have had three or four on another day and it's just one of those things. Swings, and roundabouts, and all that jazz. I had to bring that back because I've not said that for a while, and this is the epitome of that. So, Christmas break now. Give us a chance to calm down. Give me a chance to go away and think about what's just happened for a bit. Um, in the next episode, we're going to come back with a nice couple of easy games, home against Viborg, and then away against Esbjör. I think we might end up losing both of these two as well. We could find ourselves in some serious relegation trouble again. Whew. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, and I guess I kind of hope you have, just for pure entertainment value rather than actually us doing anything good, then do drop a like on the video. That'd be awesome. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button too. That'd be great as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode for the Christmas break, and then two games against Vibor and Esbjör. Because, you know, things can only get better, I guess. As long as we stay up now, that's my main focus. Just stay the hell up. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.